In this lecture we're going to look at extrusions because extrusions are one of your main three-dimensional modeling techniques. Now previously we looked at creating a bollard where we created a rectangle then we went to model on the menu bar and we choose the command extrude. There's a couple of rules that I want you to understand about extrusions. Number one, extrusions are always perpendicular to the plane of the object. What does this mean? Well it means if I extrude this up it'll come directly up towards me. If I put this on a screen plane, let's zoom out so we can see it, there it is there, that'll come towards me as well if I extrude it, regardless of my view. So you could end up with some quite odd shapes if you didn't know how to extrude objects. So let's extrude that and we'll see how it works. Modify, model on the menu bar, extrude, and we'll extrude that by 100 millimeters, 4 inches. Now you don't see a difference in it until I start turning the view around, and then you notice that it extruded perpendicular to its view. In the last lecture we looked at automatic working planes. If I create a rectangle on here and then extrude it, it will be extruded perpendicular to the plane of the object. Since it's on that working plane, then it'll extrude up in that direction. Model on the menu bar, extrude 100 millimeters. There you are, you can see it extruded up perpendicular to the plane of it. You might also notice that extrusions always start at zero on the working plane. Since that was our working plane, it started at zero. If the working plane is the layer plane, and we click and pull that up, that's going to create an extrusion. And this is a really quick way to create an extrusion. You'll notice that it's starting at zero on the working plane, and it's going up. And we can use our object, and we can use our floating data bar to type in the size that we want. Enter once, enter again. So let's start creating some of those again. We know that it's going to start at zero on the working plane. We know we can pull it automatically, and we know that we can type in the distance there. This makes it very quick to create your objects. I can pull that out, 100, enter, enter. I can put another one on here, pull that out, 50, enter, enter. So it's a really quick way of doing it. And the other rule is that Vectorworks always remembers the original shape of your extruded object. If I double click on it, you can see there's my shape. And I can use any of my editing tools to change the shape of that object. Uh, that's quite a small object. It's only uh, 28 millimeters. So I'm just going to make that 10 and 10. And then click on one side then click on the other. And you might notice in the background, there's a, the extrusion is updating exit the extrude with that button. So any extruded object can be edited by double clicking on it and then you can use any of your editing tools that you want. 